Hey, what's going on guys? It's BD here today, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Remote Spy to make scripts for FE games. Um, this doesn't work for all FE games, it's just a simple little trick that works for some. You'll have to work and keep working on finding um, remotes and stuff for games. It doesn't always work for every single game. Um, so, anyway, let's get right into the tutorial. And what I wanted to say was... If you're going to make a script for a game, think about what type of script you're making first. So if I'm going to be making a gold script, which I'm going to be doing this episode, along with a stat script, um, you want to do things related to um, that script you're making. So I'm making a gold script. And um, so what I would do is go ahead and fight some mobs, go get, go get some gold real quick, and then see if anything sh comes up while doing these gold, this gold thing. So... First, what we're going to do is go ahead and run Remote Spy. Um, so, ran Remote Spy. Let's go try killing a bandit real quick. Did uh, did any remote pop up? No. Okay, so we can cross that off the list as saying, okay, killing something doesn't have a remote event. But maybe killing something else. Maybe we could have been off, but who knows. But we'll check that out later. So, what we're going to do now is because... Is this guy hurting me? Okay, anyway... What we want to do is go ahead, and next thing that I used to do, I would usually do, is go to a shop and buy a weapon. So let's just say the steel sword. It's the easiest, it's the cheapest one you can get. You know, it doesn't really matter what, ta what type of sword you're buying at the moment. So I'm just going to go ahead and buy a steel sword. And we're going to go ahead and look into F9, the developer console. As you can see, a remote event popped up. This is um, part of the sword stop ship. Yeah. That was hard to say for me. Sword Shop System. Um, that is the name of the remote event. Um, and the arguments for that remote event is buy, 45, and steal. These, the first um, argument is a string. The second one's a number. And the, the third one is a string. So basically what this is saying is we're going to buy something for 45 gold. And that something is going to be steal. So what... I would usually do, when I find a remote event like this, I'm going to go ahead and try to manipulate it. So, what I would do is go ahead and system system. Okay, so why I wrote this out is because up here, as you can see, path... It says players, just another hacks or lel, remote functions, sword shop system. Local player is the equivalent of saying just another hacks or lel. Um, so now, as you can see, the method is fire server. So at the end, we're going to put the uh, a colon and we're going to type fire server, and then inside we're or then we're going to put two. Um, I think these are no, these aren't brackets. These are parentheses. No, maybe. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. Inside here, we're going to put a. Uh, to, uh, we're going to put a quote because the first thing is a string. So by comma 45 comma steal. What I'm doing this for is to see if we can use the remote event just by itself to buy a steel sword. So we have 1,021 gold. We have three steel swords execute. Okay, so I got an error. Now um, that's only because I messed up that script. Now let's try again. Okay, it worked. I have 976, which is uh, the 45 minus whatever I had. And I also have an extra steel sword. Okay, so, but we just wasted money. That's not the point of this. We're trying to make money. So, how about we go ahead and do negative 45. Execute. And look at that. We got our gold back plus a steel sword. So now that we know we can go negative, let's go ahead and just type in a thousand. See if it's just it was just because it was a forty-five. No, we're allowed to be able to put a negative number for this game in there, and it will give us the money back for whatever we we ever set it to. Now, this doesn't work in all games, but it works in a few. 
and it just happens to work in a lot more than you would think. So that's why I make scripts and then I usually set them negative or something like that. Um, that's a great way to try it or just regu regularly calling events. Now, if sometimes you'll see packed arguments, you'll see nothing here. It will look like the packed returns with nothing inside. That means it's just a closed bracket like or a closed parentheses like that. Now, you can call that. I've, as you can see, nothing happens when we call this. Nothing. So, okay. Um, now that we made a money script, that's cool. But what if we wanted to make something else? Say, I don't know, um, upgrade stats. Here we go. Okay, we have three upgrade points. Let's go ahead and use them on something. Um, how about physical damage? Okay, we just use a stat point. So let's see, did anything happen in here? In our developer console. That's where everything will be printed for Remote Spy. So as you can see, we do. Something has been printed out there and it's located as the upgrade function in the Remote Functions folder with inside our player. And the arguments for that is damage and one. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is gonna go ahead and call that. And now because we've seen we've seen that we can go ahead and call um, and make things negative. So what we're gonna try to do is go ahead and oh excuse me. Try calling that function again and see if we can call it as a normal function. Let's see. Damage comma one and as you see I put this in parentheses because it needs to be in parentheses as you can see the remote arguments it's actually in parentheses so we need to keep it in parentheses because it's only accepting a string if, it, if you put anything else in a string it won't work so let's go ahead and call that and as you could see it went up by one let's try it again it went up by one okay so it worked, but that just wasted our points. Well, what if we put in two here? Does that do anything? Doesn't do anything. Let's try putting one in again. And now, as you notice, we now have negative upgrade points. And I would have thought, because we could have done negative numbers for the money, why can't our upgrade points go negative? So if we keep just spamming this, as you can see, physical damage is going up while our upgrade points are going down. Now you're trying to figure out well I did up d upgrade damage but now I can't upgrade anything else well you're gonna have to go ahead and go ahead and kill some things get more upgrade points to figure out the the regular things of all those other stats to find the arguments for those stats but besides that you've already figured it out you have everything you need and there you go so that is how I use Remote Spy to make FE scripts for games such as this um, and a bunch of other ones. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching, and if you have any questions about the tutorial, just please let me know in the comments. Um, I'll try to respond to any if I can. The script will be down in the description. Um, you do need a level 7 script executor to use it, one that has get meta table at, um, properties. Most script uh, executors can use it. Um, I, mine is modified for Proto Smasher, so if you have Proto Smasher, the script will work right away. But if it's if you don't have Proto Smasher, you'll have to edit the script just a little bit. Um, but besides that, yeah. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Please uh, leave a like, a comment, and um, subscribe if you guys had found this useful. And uh, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.